Armor trims are rare and valuable items used to customize your armor. There are a total of 18, with two of them being added within the newest Minecraft update. Here's how to get all of them. The Tide Armor Trim can be found only by killing the Elder Guardian. It has a 20% chance of dropping and is not affected by looting. At Pillager Outpost, there is a 25% chance that you will find two Sentry Armor Trims. At a Woodland Mansion loot chest, there is a 50% chance that you will find the Vex Armor Trim. Heading over to a Jungle Pyramid, we have a 33.3% chance that we will find two Wild Armor Trims in one of the chests. In any one of the Shipwreck chests, there's a 16.7% chance that you'll find two Coast Armor Trims. The Dune Armor Trim can be located at a Desert Pyramid, with a 14.3% chance to find two of them per chest. Now heading on over to the Deep Dark, there are two Armor Trims you can find here. The first one is the Ward Armor Trim. This one is a little rarer, with only a 5% chance of spawning, but if you think that's bad, the Silence Armor Trim, which is probably one of the coolest ones, has a 1.2% chance of spawning, which will be quite a pain trying to find. The Eye Armor Trim can be retrieved through the Stronghold. It has a 100% chance of spawning in a library chest and a 10% chance of spawning in an altar chest, so the library is probably your best bet. The new Bolt Armor Trim can be found in the Vault and Rewards chest with a 5.4% chance. A flashback to the Mace video, you're gonna need to head on to another Pillager Outpost or just find an Ominous Bottle in the Trial Chambers, and then you're going to need to start an Ominous Trial. From the new Ominous Spawners, you'll be able to get the Ominous Key to unlock the Ominous Vault to get some Ominous Loot. From the Ominous Vault, you'll be able to find an Armor Trim with a 22.5% chance. Just don't die while you're trying to retrieve it like I almost did. Entering the Nether Fortress, you can find the Rib Armor Trim in a chest with a 16.7% chance of spawning. And the Snout Armor Trim can be found in a Bastion Remnant with a 8.3% chance of spawning. It's not an Armor Trim, but the Netherite Upgrade Template will be able to let you upgrade your Diamond Gear into Netherite. It's at a 10% chance of spawning, however in a Treasure Bastion, one that looks like this, it will have a 100% chance of spawning. Armor Trim Spire can be found in the End City Chest with a 6.7% chance of spawning. Now for the last four, you're going to need to grab a brush and head to the nearest trail ruin, which looks like this by the way, and you are going to need to carefully brush away the suspicious gravel. Under the suspicious gravel, you can find the armor trim's wayfinder, razor, shaper, and host with an 8.3% chance each. Take care not to destroy any of the suspicious gravel because you're not getting that back. Armor trims are a one-time use, so you're going to need to know how to duplicate them and what you need. To duplicate a trim, you need 7 diamonds, that trim, and a special material. Here is every material you need. For Sentry, Vex, and Coast, you'll need Cobblestone, Mossy Cobblestone for Wild, Sandstone for Dune, Terracotta for Wayfinder, Razor, Shaper, and Host, Cobble Deep Slate for Ward and Silence. Tide needs Prismarine. Snout needs Blackstone. You'll need Netherrack to duplicate the Netherite upgrade and the Rib Armor Trim. Endstone for the Eye Armor Trim. Purper for Spire. Breeze Rod for Flow. And a block of Copper or Wax Copper for Bolt. And that's all you need to know about armor trims in 1.21. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest tutorials. And if you want to know how to obtain Minecraft's mace, you can find out right here. And I shall see you in the next one.